filmmakers and stars. People seem to be emotionally charged by the film. From blockbusters to art house cinema, we'll spotlight the brilliant and unique voices bringing their stories to the big screen. Talking Movies. Watch on BBC iPlayer. Tonight at 10, the moment of joy and relief as a family in Israel is reunited. 21-year-old <laughs> Mia Shem sees her mother for the first time after seven weeks held by Hamas. And Palestinian detainees recently freed and back home in the West Bank tell us about their treatment in Israeli prisons. Many lives could have been saved had the UK locked down earlier. The former health secretary, Matt Hancock, tells the COVID inquiry. The government intervenes in a possible takeover of the Daily Telegraph by Abu Dhabi's ruling family. Tributes to Alastair Darling, the chancellor who steered the UK through the 2008 financial crisis. He's died at the age of 70. And at Edinburgh Zoo, the tale of two pandas picked for love who just didn't get on. And on Newsnight at 10.30, we'll go deeper behind the headlines and speak live to key players on today's big stories. Plus, a first look at tomorrow's front pages. Hello, good evening. A 21-year-old woman who was kidnapped from the Supernova Music Festival in Israel on the 7th of October has tonight been reunited with her mother as a temporary truce between Israel and Hamas continued for a seventh day. Mia Shem was one of eight hostages freed by Hamas today in return for the expected release of more Palestinian detainees from Israeli prisons. But as one family celebrates the return of a loved one, another is facing fresh anguish. This is Shira Bibas and her two young sons. Hamas claims they died in an Israeli missile attack on Gaza. Tonight, the organisation designated a terrorist group by the UK government released a hostage video of her husband, Yarden. The Israeli government said again that it's yet to verify what has happened to the family. Our senior international correspondent, Ola Girin, has the latest from Tel Aviv. 